Welcome to Job Skills Share. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Cisco AnyConnect on 64-bit Ubuntu system. Um, now, this information is for uh, basically people who are working uh, already in a help desk and they want to know how to do this, or maybe just testing things. So what happens is that a company will give you an address and I already got the address and you will click enter on that address it will say something like remote.jobskillshare.com and then it will give you this link to the client right and when, when on windows machine you just go, go there you click on download and it does ActiveX Java detection and then everything is done for you sometimes that also fails and give you a link right here and it will tell you manually install this client for windows 7, 8, 8.1 uh, or for Mac uh, same process so in Linux is the same process but this doesn't work so it gives you directly this that hey this thing failed you need to install it manually so you click on that link and then you'll give this VPN setup dot, dot shell dot sh so basically you need to know where you're downloading this so make sure you know where it is so I already did this and I put it on my desktop you will get it on your download area so just drag and drop it to your desktop here then the second thing what I did is I got th these commands and at this point you need don't need to know about what it does and everything um, the first command is telling that go to directory desktop then the second command is basically telling that okay we need to look for this VPN setup.sh and the third one is to run this shell so you don't need to know uh, in details about this just copy paste it and the main purpose of this video is to install any connect in later tutorials you'll do everything and how to do things with commands and everything so at this point just open terminal and go to this copy that and paste it so now we are in the desktop area now the second command is this one copy that and paste that the third one is this one sudo and then copy and paste so you will get a prompt for password just like in Windows machine you get a pass prompt for password for admin password to install software okay alright so if you already have um, install the previous it will remove the previous version and then install the other ones to double check you need to come here and then click on any connect I already did that so I can see it. and there you go this is the application then you double click on it and put the company address and connect to your company and from there on you can just open the RDP and we will do the same thing but I'm just gonna stop this video for a little bit So when you double click on the any connect you get this um, application and the same way in Windows you get it on the bottom and in and, and, and the Linux you just get the whole application on one screen and from here you just type your remote.jobskillshare.com or whatever company you're working for and then you will click connect what happens after this you will get like a certificate error or something you say accept and after that you'll get a username and password uh, section so you put your username and password and then click connect it should connect once you get connected after that you can just go to uh, your um, a remote desktop whatever application you're using Cisco Ubuntu comes with this one right here and basically you can double click on this put your computer name username password and then you should be getting into your computers just like you do it on your Windows machine uh, as long as you get connected and you see that everything is connected uh, then you're good to go but if you see that Cisco Connect is not connected then there's something else you need to do probably more for Google search when you've been to how to uh, fix those uh, issues but at this point I just showed you guys it's coming up it will uh, I did test it so it does it does good connection uh, and um, Thank you for watching this video and we will be working directly on uh, some of the tutorials that we will do for like our examples and real world scenarios then uh, uh, like deployments and all that we will be using this on Cisco so uh, on sorry on Linux uh, we'll be using the AnyConnect on Ubuntu 
so this is why I wanted to show you guys this quickly because I was doing this and I was like let me just make a tutorial about that alright thank you so much for watching see you guys in a different tutorial bye bye